Suppose you have two sets A and B. To find the number of elements in A union B, we can add the number of elements in each set, but because there might be elements included in both sets, we need to subtract the number of elements that are in both. This is an example of what's known as the inclusion-exclusion principle. For example, suppose 25 people like chocolate chip cookies, 38 like kale, and 7 like both. How many like chocolate chip cookies or kale? So let's consider our two sets. We'll let C be the set of people who like chocolate chip cookies, and K be our set of people who like kale. Then the number of people who like either chocolate chip cookies or kale will be the number who like chocolate chip cookies plus the number who like kale. But since this counts the people in the intersection twice, we'll need to subtract out the intersection. So filling our numbers, we get What if we have three sets? It's easiest to see how this will work using a Venn diagram for three sets. So if we draw a generic Venn diagram, we see that the number of elements in all three sets will be the number in the three sets individually. But note that this will count some elements multiple times. So anything that's in the pairwise intersection of sets will be counted twice, and so we'll need to subtract those pairwise intersections. But now consider something that's in the intersection of all three sets. Anything in this intersection would have been counted three times initially, but then we would have subtracted three for each of the intersections, so we need to add it back in to get the correct count. For example, consider a three-digit number. How many include one as a first digit, two as a second digit, or three as a third digit? So we can start off with the numbers that begin with one, and these are the numbers. To count these, we can index them. And since our last digits are changing, we'll go ahead and use the last digit as the index. So 100, last digit zero, well that's i equals zero. 101, last digit 1, that'll be i equals 1, and so on. Since i equals 0 is our first number, the term number is 1 more than the index. So our last term, i equals 99, will be the 1 plus 99 one hundredth number. So there are 100 numbers that begin with a 1. And as a reminder of a useful principle in math and in life, if it's not written down, it didn't happen. So let's make a record of this. There are 100 numbers of the form 1xy, where x and y are the two remaining digits. The numbers that have 2 as a second digit are and, and likewise in every 100 from 100 to 900. And again, to count these, we'll index them. So to count the number in any hundred, we'll index them on that last digit again. So 120, that's our i equals 0. 121, that's our i equals 1, and so on. And since i equals 0 is our first number, then i equals 9 will be the tenth number. And so there are 10 in every hundred. And so there are 10 times 9, 90 numbers, with 9 as the second digit. The numbers whose third digit is 3 are and, and again, it follows that there are 10 in every 100, from 100 to 900, so there are 90 numbers with 3 as a third digit. Now these will count some numbers more than once, so note that some numbers with 1 as a first digit will have 2 as a second digit, and these numbers are, and there are 10 such numbers. There are also 10 numbers that have 1 as a first digit and 3 as a third digit, and 10 numbers that have 2 as a second digit and 3 as a third digit, or are there? 
So in combinatorial problems, it's useful to list at least three. And again, to count, index. And here, we can index on our first digit, so our numbers. And since i equals 1 is our first number, the index is the same as the term number, so i equals 9 will be the ninth number. And so there are only nine numbers that have a 2 as the second digit and a 3 as the third digit. And finally, there's only one number of the form 1 as the first, 2 as the second, and 3 as the third. So applying the inclusion-exclusion principle, we add the singles, we subtract the doubles, we add the triples, and we get 252 numbers that have a 1 as their first digit, 2 as their second, or 3 as their third.